Hello everyone and welcome back to Forum Friday. Yes indeed. Or actually for a lot of you this is welcome to Forum Friday as many of you probably have no idea what this show is or you've only seen past episodes as this is a series that's been on hiatus for probably a couple months now as towards the end of the spring semester I kind of had to stop making it as I did not have the time for it with finals and things like that but the series is back back indeed to those of you who are new to this show this is forum Friday this is the show where I ask discussion discussion questions every Friday to you guys well hopefully every Friday and I read your all's comments in the video and go over my thoughts on the subject from the previous video the gameplay you are watching is some Medic Team Fortress 2 gameplay from Chu, actually. This is her perspective of a couple matches that we played, just getting some footage of her in because she plays as Medic and a couple other classes that I do not play as. So, I wanted to keep that in there. I wanted to show some of that off because some people didn't believe me that she even played Team Fortress 2, apparently. Even though we've streamed it a couple times, but whatever. So... What would normally be last week, but last episode of this show, I asked you guys what you you know what your impressions at the time were about CSR in Halo 4, the competitive skill rank. Now it has obviously been a long time, and impressions will have changed, and so I'm gonna kind of go over mine and read Gerald's comments, and we'll just kind of see. If any if anything is different so far, then let me know in the comment section below as well. As well, you know, to the next question. Going to the comments in the video, Cool Slam TV says, I love your voice. Well thank you. Thank you very much. Plates Vi says, I don't really mind. I'm more individual because all my friends play COD. Sad face. And that is very sad indeed. You should convert them to Halo or convert to COD yourself. Nobody wants to be alone. But even still, um, a lot of the individual ranks are not necessarily going to work out in your favor. And so, especially since the individual ranks are in team games. And so, it, it, even though you may be an individual player, it still, to me, it causes issues within the team. DT Flips says, I don't pay much attention to CSR because it's too much of a hassle to look up. It needs to be accessible from the game itself. P.S. In a world where. I just want to hear you say that. Yes, I agree it needs to be accessible within the game. It's kind of pointless seeing it from the... the just from Waypoint or using like QuickCSR.com or anything like that. Uh, even if it's just in your service record, not necessarily like next to your name like it was in Halo 3, but something like that. I don't know. In a world where... In a world where CSR did not fix anything, Halo players are doomed. In a world where... I don't know if that was any better. <laughs> Shodan King Slayer says Wahoo! Noramac023 says, While a little convenient having it on Waypoint only, I find that most of my games are play more of a challenge for everyone. Unfortunately, that means I have to carry my team most of the time, to victory or defeat, but it doesn't matter, it's just as fun. Also, when I get good teammates and the other team is also good, you can get really close matches. And then Mario Ball 29 replies to him and says, Nori, that's what happens to me when I go like 30 and 2, and we lose because my team are effing mental. Alright, so, again, I want to hear if these opinions have changed in the past few months because the game has changed and, you know, it's been a while. But to me, in my honest opinion, CSR did not fix anything. It may have made some matches a little bit better for people, but to me... If anything, it might have made the game a little bit worse. Because the game is now less fun. The point is something I try to drive home over and over. And some people who started with Reach or 4, you just completely miss it. But in order for Halo 4 to be fun, you have to make it fun. You don't have to make it competitive. You don't have to make it balanced for competitive play. You just have to make it fun. Halo 3 wasn't the most balanced game in the world. Halo 2 was not balanced at all. Halo 1 was not balanced at all, but they were fun, and Halo 2 and 3 got adapted to competitive 
from the already fun game and were fun in both competitive play and just goofing off. Halo 4, you have to either be try hard or you're getting your ass kicked and it's not fun. CSR made that worse. People are now going, you know, they're, you're either faced up against people who are using cheap shit like jetpacks all the time. Like, I, I, I'm pretty much stuck to basically like snipers or SWAT because of how many jetpacks I encounter. Because I cannot stand jetpacks. Like, jetpacks have ruined Halo for me. Or you have people just going try hard all the time. And getting dominated by those people is not very much fun. And so, if anything, to me, that just kind of ruined the goof-off factor. Especially once you get up into the higher CSR ranks. Because you're given team, because you're you're still matched up with teammates who are pretty much all over the place. So you can get matched up with teammates who have the worst CSRs in existence and are not good players at all, versus you know 35 through 50s, and you just get shit on because your team doesn't know what the hell they're doing, as Mario Ball said. I don't think it made anything better. I don't think it did anything for Halo 4, except appeal or appease like five people. So. That's just my personal opinion. Moving on to this week's question topic of the day. Used games. Or of the week, rather. Used games. What do you all think about used games? I will direct you towards a video from Total Biscuit talking about the, what I consider, a lot of truth that nobody acknowledges about used games and how they actually really hurt, really, really hurt the games industry. And this is in reference to, of course, the Xbox One supposedly not accepting used games and so the PS4 probably do, um, and just what do you what do y'all think about used games and their effect on the market and whether or not they're actually all that important to a console, you know, for a console to support used games. Let me know what you think in the comment section below as well as if you have any further thoughts on CSR now that it's a couple months in. Thank you so much for walk watching. Thank you for all your support. Make sure you leave a like as well and make sure you have a nice day. I'll see you next time.